Commission, we will begin with Deputy Chairman Sherbina's briefing, and then we will discuss next steps, if necessary. Thank you, Comrade General Secretary. I'm pleased to report that the situation in Chernobyl is stable. Uh, military and civilian patrols have secured the region, and Colonel General Piccolo, who commands troops specializing in chemical hazards, has been dispatched to the plant. In terms of radiation, Plant Director Brichano reports no more than 3.6 Srontgen. I'm told it's the equivalent of a chest X-ray, so if you're overdue for a checkup... And foreign press? Totally unaware. KGB First Deputy Chairman Sharkov assures me that we have successfully protected our security interests. Good. Very good. Well, it seems like it's well in hand, so... If there is nothing else, meeting adjourned. No! Pardon me? Uh, we can't adjourn. This is Professor Legasov of the Kurchatov Institute. Professor, if you have any concerns, feel free to address them with me later. I can't. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Page three, the section on casualties. Uh, a fireman was severely burned on his hand by a chunk of smooth black mineral on the ground outside the reactor building. Smooth black mineral, graphite. There's, there's graphite on the ground. Well, there was a, a tank explosion, there's debris. Of what importance that could there's be? There's only one place I in have... the entire facility where you will find graphite. Inside the core, if there's graphite on the ground outside, it means it wasn't a control system tank that exploded, it was the reactor core, it's open. Um, Comrade Sherbina. Comrade General Secretary, I can assure you that Professor Legasov is mistaken. Bukhana reports that the reactor core is intact. And as for the radiation... Yes, 3.6 Rontgen, which, by the way, is not the equivalent of one chest X-ray, but rather 400 chest X-rays. That number's been bothering me for a different reason, though. It's also the maximum reading on low-limit decimeters. They gave us the number they had. I think the true number is much, much higher. If I'm right, this fireman was holding the equivalent of 4 million chest X-rays in his hand. Well, Mr. Legasov, there's no place for alarmist hysteria. It's not alarmist if it's a fact. Well, I don't hear any facts at all. All I hear is a man I don't know engaging in conjecture, in direct contradiction to what has been reported by party officials. I'm, uh, I apologize. I didn't mean, uh... <clears throat> Please, may I express my concern as, as calmly and as respectfully as I... Professor Legasov. Horace, I will allow it. Um, an RBMK reactor uses uranium-235 as fuel. Every atom of U-235 is like a bullet, traveling at nearly the speed of light, penetrating everything in its path, woods, metal, concrete, flesh. Every gram of U-235 holds over a billion trillion of these bullets. That's in one gram. Now, Chernobyl holds over three million grams, and right now it is on fire. Winds will carry radioactive particles across the entire continent. Rain will bring them down on us. That's three million, billion, trillion bullets in the, in the air we breathe, the water we drink, the food we eat. Most of these bullets will not stop firing for 100 years. Some of them not for 50,000 years. <clears throat> yes, and uh, this concern stems entirely from the description of a rock. Yes.